It's what both sides might have wanted at Christmas time, but neither is getting it. A new police union contract. After 10 months of negotiations, the city and the San Antonio Police Officers Association still have not reached a deal for a new contract. The last one ended in September, and while an evergreen clause keeps those terms in effect, officer pay is frozen. City Hall reporter Garrett Berger checks in on where things stand now. On February 12th, the city and police unions negotiating teams sat down for the first time. Today was their 28th meeting, but not their last. Still, both sides say they've been making progress. Discipline being the, the biggest priority that we had, that's an area that we are uh, fairly close. Last month, they reached a consensus on a key goal for the city, reducing how much power an arbitrator has to reinstate a fired officer. But they're still debating how to draw the line between major and minor misconduct a new distinction that will dictate how long the chief has to discipline an officer for an infraction. You can have discrimination that is not a major misconduct. You can. It could be very, very minor, proper pronoun. While the two sides agree on how much officers should contribute to their health care costs, wages are still on the table. The union's latest proposal amounting to more than twice as much in permanent raises as what the city has put forward. If you look at it in the five to seven year range, we're going to have to attract candidates. Still, the two negotiating teams say this is a far cry from the last time around, which lasted two and a half acrimonious years and included a court case and mediation. We don't agree on, on everything, but I think we have had productive uh, sessions compared to what we experienced in the last contract. I think we've both sides have changed how we negotiate. We spend more time talking with each other rather than putting on a media blitz on things. And the new year will give them a chance to hammer out the new contract once and for all. Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.